Yo, what's up? It's a brand new day. Got a new product here to share with you. If you're like me and you have so many items around the house, chances are that at one point or another, you've misplaced things like your keys or your cell phone or just little knickknacks that you find important. And if you don't want to lose them, there is a device that helps you keep track of it. This right here is helpful to keep track of keys, phone, wallet, a suitcase, and other items. It's called the Nut Find 3, okay? So the Nut Find 3, it basically comes in this little packaging like this. And let's give you a little look at what it looks like when you open it up. This has some kind of technology where you can one touch find stuff. There's a long standby. There's a lost and found network. You can find your phone and other things. Okay, so I got the packaging off here. And it comes with a little quick start guide. You can find out how to set it up on your Android phone or any other device that you have. I'm going to be using my iPhone here. So let me get the photo app open here. Just scan it over there. Open nutspace.com. And then looks like it's going to get me all set up through this app. Let me hit this get button. It's got 350 ratings of 4.4 stars. It's like a good app. All right, so essentially what you get in this thing is this little itty bitty tile and it's got a lanyard on it too. So you can connect it up here and then hook it to wherever you want, your keys or you know, wherever you want. You're gonna go and hook this up, thread it through like this so that it's got a little dangle on it like this. And then I'm gonna use that to hang it to my keys. Okay, I'm gonna try to just hang it off of here and that way I'll always know where my keys are. Okay, so it says to long press this for five seconds. Okay, it makes that beeping noise and now it says it's scanning and there it is, it's detected right there. So detect that and it's pairing up to the phone and I'm gonna name this key, okay? Okay, so now if this device is somewhere where I don't know where it is, I can just hit this button that says call and it'll make that noise and let me know where it is. That is cool, that is super useful. The app is useful. You can use a button on here that says location history and then it'll show you on the map where the location of your device is. You can even add a Siri shortcut that says, hey Siri, find my key. But it does show that there is a battery level for this nut in the device. So it says it's at 100%. And I'll see how long this battery lasts over the long period of time. But for right now, it's doing what I would want it to do. Let's do a little bit of a range test to see how far I can find my key in this big expansive store. Okay, so I'm gonna put my keys over here by this wine rack, okay? And then I'm gonna go all the way up to the store where the end of the store is all the way up there and see if on that point over there, I can find my key over here by detecting it through the app. Okay. All right, so hypothetically, if I don't know where my keys are at right now, I can go here to the key app, and it says that my key is near. I can hit call. And it is beeping all the way on the other side there. So it's a good thing. I like it so far. And I noticed that when I got too far from where my keys were, it would actually make a notification to tell me that the nut is disconnected. So it would let me know if that I'm leaving a location kind of far away to go and grab my keys before I leave too far away. Otherwise, I'm just gonna leave without 
uh, essential item. I don't want to leave somewhere without my keys, so that's a good notification that I don't mind getting. Now, the nut also has an added feature of being able to track your phone when it is connected to the app. For example, when you push the button on here twice, There he goes. See, it makes that... Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. Okay. It makes that nice little melody, right? So, upon reading in the app, how long will the tracker work with one battery? What should you do if the batteries run down? Generally, one battery can work for no less than eight months. If the battery is run down, you can replace a new battery. The battery is a CR2032 battery cell, and you can buy this in the shops easily. Just open the shell, replace the battery, make sure the battery's positive pole is placed upwards, then assemble the tracker and press the button for five seconds, and it will begin to work. The nut can only be bound to one phone at one time, and to unbind this tracker with the phone, there's a process. If the tracker is connected to the mobile phone, you can unbind the tracker by pushing a button on it. There's a way to unbind it. You open the app, click the tracker which you want to unbind in the anti-loss interface, and click the button which is a three small points on the upper right, and then click unbind. So, seems easy enough. I'm going to use it for the next eight months while this battery's gonna live inside this little tile thing and it's very lightweight it doesn't really add on much bulk to the keys and I think that it's a good addition to have for when I'm trying to look for my phone or when I'm trying to look for my keys there's a little jingle that goes keys wallet phone keys wallet phone don't leave the home without your keys wallet phone thank you for watching my review of this nut key finder, phone finder, wallet finder, whatever you want to find, device. If you enjoyed watching this, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up and comment, subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!